In this video, I will show you how serial read works and how you can send data from the computer to the Arduino. I prepared a traffic light. So we have a red, a yellow and a green LED. The cathodes are connected to my ground signal. The red LED that is connected to pin 11. The yellow one is connected to 10. The green one is connected to 9. The goal of this video is to use the serial monitor to control these LEDs. I will start with the green LED. So the green LED is connected to pin 9 and it should be an output. Of course we will use serial begin with 9600 baud. Let's jump into the loop. Inside of the loop the first thing that I'll do is I will check if serial data is available. If the computer sends data to Arduino, then data will be available, will be stored inside of a buffer, and then I can read it out of this buffer. If serial.available. So we will only jump into this if statement if there is actually data available. If there is data available, I will turn on the LED. So for now the LED is not turned on. Let's go to the serial monitor and I will send some message. And as you can see, now we have serial data available and the LED is turned on. That's fine, but I would also like to turn it off again, right? Um, I would like to send the character one to turn it on and the character two to turn it off. So what we need is we need to serial read so this way we can get the data out of the buffer. What should we do with it? Well, in the meantime, let's store it inside of a variable. I'm expecting a character, so let's use a character variable. Now we'll call it key. Now depending on whatever key is, I would like to turn it on or turn it off. If key equals, and I cannot just type one like this because it is a character. A character always needs this single quotation marks. So if it's one, then I would like to turn it on. Pin 9. Hi. If the key equals 2, I would like to turn it off. Let's upload this code and see what happens. I send the message 1 and the LED turns on. I sent the message to and the LED turns off. But I would like to get some feedback. So let's add some serial.print green LED was turned on and green LED was turned off. Now if I send one, I get the direct feedback inside of my serial monitor that the green LED was just turned on. And if I send two, oh yeah. I get it in the same line. Now what can we do to solve this? We use println. So now if I send one, I get green LED was turned on. If I send two, green LED was turned off. So here comes your exercise. I would like to control all of my LEDs and we could also use a different type of control structure because this would require a lot of if statement, right? There is something better than this. Yes, I will use a switch. We will switch based on key. We have case and it's not case one, it's case one in single quotation marks because it's a character. And now we need two more LEDs. I would like to use pin 10 and pin 11, yellow and red. Here we need a break statement, case three, case four, break again. And then we have case five, case six, nine high nine low ten high ten low and this is the yellow led 
then we have 11 and 11 and this is the red LED let's upload it one turns on the green LED three turns on the yellow LED and five turns on the red LED and I can turn them off again by sending two four and six and what I can also do is I can send one three and five and all of them are turned on two four six will turn off all of them this is actually how my smart home works there are a lot of arduinos in my smart home and they get the information on which channel will be turned on or off and then the light can be turned on or off it's a little bit more complicated than that but these are the fundamentals if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you would like to share your thoughts, please leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.